you can imagine, or possibly you can't imagine, the myriad of complex issues that a child faces in terms of, uh, is the child being rejected by a parent? Or is the parent just unable to care for the child? What's the complexity of really going to school or going out with your friends not properly cared for, not properly fed, not properly dressed? How about the whole parentification of a child that can see a parent failing and what can they do about it? It's really hard to imagine what does go through the mind and the heart of a child in this complex situation. Foothills Truckee Healthy Babies is an evidence-based home visiting program model. A home visitor forms a really healthy, long-lasting relationship with the family and teach parents how to understand their baby at every single stage of development. ACASA is a court-appointed special advocate, a community volunteer who works with children who have been removed from home because of abuse and neglect, and who have open cases in the dependency court system. Our puppet shows teach some very important information, stranger danger for our little preschoolers, and then we teach um, touching safety, a green, yellow, red light touch, which is the vocabulary that we use. It's easy for children to understand. And then we also teach anti-bullying skills. I coordinate with all public schools and most charter schools here in Nevada County. It's when they're getting bullied or when they're getting assaulted or touched, they don't really know how to handle it. And I think that's a big problem where we're trying, child safety puppeteers, we're trying to like teach them to speak out, like it's okay, you won't get in trouble, and I think they're scared. I'm really grateful for the program because it really allows children to have a voice. And I have had children over the years come to me and say, I think I'm having a red light touch at my house and what can we do? I've been doing this for 35 years. So one trend uh, that everybody my age has noticed is when we were practicing, we were dealing a lot with medical issues. We now are dealing with many more mental health issues, particularly with the stresses on family, in adolescence, depression, anxiety. I've been reading a lot of research lately that says the number one factor in resilience for kids in build, building resilience is having a, a warm, positive relationship with a caring adult in their life. Parents who may not have had that have an opportunity to build that kind of relationship with their home visitor and then have the ability to build that kind of relationship with their child, which will carry forward through the generations. ACASA's role is to be there for the child. ACASA is, in my humble opinion, the equivalent of a precious gem. They write court reports, they're the child's friend, they are there throughout the entire dependency case. They fit into this system because a judge needs the best possible information he or she can have. They help the social worker get information that otherwise we wouldn't have. What is in the best interest of a child or the children? Well, who better to help a judge make that decision than someone that is able to spend quality time with that child and with that family? Um, the CASA worker is involved in the child's life practically every week, and sometimes it helps us um, move in a direction with the case that we otherwise wouldn't, wouldn't move in because they can give us information that we otherwise wouldn't have. So you can understand how that kind of information from a trained CASA can be critical to helping a judge make a pivotal decision concerning what is best for this particular child and family. There's somebody who takes an interest in them, an interest in them personally, you know, um, and they give them the self-esteem that they need to say, you know, this is something that happened to me, but this is not who I am. So if you want to have about the biggest impact you could possibly have in a, for a child, for a family, for your community, be a CASA.